Tanzania's Bongo Fighting Championship is creating new stars. One of them is heavyweight British boxer Tomiwe Akindele. With 40 fights under his belt as an amateur fighter, on this stage, he finally made his debut as a professional boxer. No, it means a lot to me, honestly. Like, I, can, I can officially say I'm a, pro I'm a professional fighter now. With one, with one fight, one win, one KO. So, and I happy today I'm doing it down in Tanzania, you know. There's a lot of people from my area where well, they can't say that they're, they're international fighters. I can actually say that, so I'm grateful. BFC organizer Scott Farrell, a fighter himself, says he has grand plans for local and international fighters. I want to show the whole ecosystem of combat sports and boxing. I want to show boxing, I want to show Muay Thai, I want to show MMA, I want to show kickboxing. And I want to show that, you know, it's not just about the fights, it's the experience. And it teaches you respect, you know, it's great entertainment. I mean, look, I, I think this is now the biggest fight platform in Tanzania. Apart from boxing, the night featured a historic bout for the WBC National Muay Thai Championship as the main event. The bout saw Tanzania's Emmanuel Shija emerge victorious over compatriot Fundi Yusuf. In an unprecedented move, fans of Muay Thai and professional boxing are watching their favorite fighters use the same ring. Organizers say it's part of an aggressive push to grow combat sports in the country and gain greater recognition internationally. The idea of showcasing two combat sports in one event could result in a growing fan base. It's my first time to watch this Muay Thai together with the professional boxing in one ring. So from my experience, it's my first time experience to having this fight, to watch it, and I really enjoyed it so much. The fighters are serious. They encourage you to keep watching. They are definitely not a ball. Combat sports in Tanzania are still in their infancy and could take a while to catch up with the rest of the world. Promoters are hoping that with more fighters throwing punches and kicks, the East African country could begin to bridge the gap. Isaac Lukando, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.